Well, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to another Tim's RC Surgery. Merry Christmas, wherever you are in the world. Uh, I hope you have a, a, a good holiday and a happy new year. Some of you might have followed uh, the past couple of videos I'd made about learning to fly an RC helicopter, um, which I did with various levels of success, for want of a better word. Um, have a look at the video and you'll just see how I get on. That exploded. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. oops, that, that didn't quite work the plan. I thought it was going well, and then it all went a bit pear shaped. But anyway, uh, that particular Saab Goblin Fireball helicopter, which is one of those ones that Kevin Talbot does all the mad flips and rolls and all sorts of things, uh, capable of 100 miles an hour, it's actually up for grabs for a few pound per ticket on my new competition website, and it is called Random Competitions. And if you go down into the comments or the description, uh, I'll put a link to theirs. Unfortunately, it's only open to UK and Ireland residents at the minute because it just I'm that small of a way of going that I just could not follow all the rules and regulations for everywhere in the world. But uh, yes, if you're a UK or in Ireland and you fancy uh, your chances at winning one of those sad goblin fireball things and they're absolutely insane. Um, yeah, go visit it. Go buy a ticket and fingers crossed uh, we'll get the draw done at some stage. Hopefully in, on or before Christmas. Um, I can't do these competitions without you guys, so I need you either to participate or help me spread the word. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. What it is about is a special delivery that I got today. And we got a nice brown cardboard box. What do you guys think of it? Pretty cool, huh? Well. Ta-da! This is what we got ordered. It is the OMP M2 Evo uh, 3D helicopter. Um, yes, that's right, I bought myself another helicopter. I'm going to, I intend to spend plenty of hours on the simulator, and I also want to learn how to fly this. So uh, if you haven't watched them, go back and watch the other videos. There's going to be a whole series of both me and Ellie learning to fly. Um, it's going to be slow, it's going to be a few videos long because none of us have done it before, haven't a clue what we're doing, and as you can see from the, the little goblin. Mm, it can end, well, very badly, very quickly, so stay tuned to that one, and uh, let's get this thing open and see what it's like. My wife has just walked in, so I might say hello. Hello. It's a bit louder. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there you go. What are you going to say? Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. There you go. Right. Let's get this open. As you guys know... Hold on, stop the rattling. As you guys may or may not already know, most of my ground-based RCs I get from a local uh, model shop, Rennix Model Chain, here in Northern Ireland in Portadown. They're a fantastic model shop, fantastic guys that work in it, and always willing to help you out. Now, I did contact Rennix Model Chain, and they do not do helicopters like this. So, I went on to a Facebook group and asked about anybody, uh, know any helicopter places in the UK, Shh, shh. 
Hello, Harvey. Hey, Harvey. Hey. Come on, Monty. Monty, come here. This is how you have the brave our dogs to come in. There's nothing else. I can't even give him one. It seems you'd be brave of men and it's an empty pack. Of I'm so sorry. There's nothing in it. You, oh, you're evil. It's evil. Evil. Dogsies were tricked. That wasn't my fault. That was your, your mummy. Anyway, I couldn't go to Rennix Model Train to get this heli because they don't do them. So there was nothing to do there. But after reaching out on a Facebook group, I did get contacted by the owner of Scotia RC in Scotland. And he said, hey, Tim, no problem. I'll help you out. All you need to do is give me uh, a mention on the video and uh, we'll take it from there. So anyway, a couple of days later, this arrives at the door. So let's have a look and see what it's like. And if you're looking to get yourself a helicopter, make sure and check out these. are supposed to be absolutely fantastic. And I can think of no better shop to go to than Scotia RC. There will be a link in the description. Go check it out and see what they have. Um, wow, it's actually better looking. If I have to put my specs on to see this. This is tidy. This is really tidy. Let me, I think I'll maybe bring the camera around and let you see this here. Oh, I've got to lift this out. Oh, look at this thing. It's actually unreal. Get a look at this. I hope that comes out okay on camera. Uh, my eyesight isn't the best, so I went for the orange. But it looks like it's all carbon fibre and aluminium or aluminium for you American guys. But uh, let's get this thing out. just an absolute work of art what do you think Heather? Beautiful. it's better than beautiful look wow look there's none of that plastic stuff all alloy fancy the blade holder what it comes in here um, <coughs> spur shaft maybe I thought we might have got spur blades but doesn't look like it. Little instruction book. Uh, swash plate leveler. Yeah, it looks like a main shaft maybe. And a couple of servo horns. So, yeah, a few spare parts, some tools, swash plate leveler, and a blade holder. Right, let's set this. Obviously, you get this fantastic box. See if you're just throwing it into the car. Anytime you want to take it out, you put it in here. Let's set that to one side and just appreciate. I can't get over the build quality. Unfortunately, I can't go straight out and flat here now because I'm waiting on uh, Steve from Scotia RC to send me out a couple of extra spare batteries and the receiver that will bind to my old Tyrannus X9D. So hopefully it'll be here in the next day or two. And of course the cover, <coughs> I think that's plastic as opposed to fiberglass. And it looks to be painted which it is and just look at the the detail in the paintwork crisp lines very very nice and a good colour too for me to see all going well comes with a little battery which is 750 milliamp which is I believe is 100 milliamp uh, larger than the previous uh, M2 model, so this is the Evo, this is the latest one, uh, comes with a, oh have I even got anything that size, it's a, it's an XT30, I don't even know if I've got anything that size to charge the batteries with, I'll have to check out and see if I have, that's tiny. Yes, XT30 is what they are, sorry my eyesight was useless, but uh, they just look tiny, whenever I'm used the XT90s with the race cars, 
Um, that motor just feels silky smooth. There's literally no play whatsoever. And I say, oh, carbon fiber and alloy. What a fancy bit of kit that is. Alloy boom, carbon fiber, tail liner nose steadier, and a little direct drive brushless motor for the tail rotor. Micro servos and what have we got here? Even the adjustable links for the swipe plate. That is a neat wee package. Cannot wait to get it out and try and fly this thing. And on the flight controller, it has a space here for S bus for putting in a, another uh, receiver because that's what my Tyrannus uses. So once it comes, I should be able to plug it in there and hide the receiver in here somewhere. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do a bit of reading and setting up, see see how to set this thing up. But if any of you guys watching this have already done these. Uh, and you know of a good video to watch about setting them up, especially linking it to a Tyrannus radio, let me know, let me know in the comments below. But guys, that was it. I just wanted to show you my new toy before Christmas. Um, stay tuned for my upcoming video, me and Ellie learning the flat. Let's hope it stays in one piece. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Don't forget, go check out Scotia RC on Facebook and on the internet. And uh, they do a fantastic range of OMP helis and uh, very friendly guys and uh, very willing to help. So go check out uh, Scotia RC and I shall see you guys next time.